Hey guys, today we are going to talk about a turn 4 win in standard that's reasonable to do um, and I love it. This is a great combo. A turn 4 win is very fast in the standard formats and both cards by themselves are decent. So Sir Healy Ray won a blue and a red. We will only worry about her second ability here. The minus 2 ability create a token that's a copy of target artifact or creature you control except it's an artifact in addition to its other types that token gains haste exile it at the beginning of the next end step so there is a card a cat some are naming this combo crazy cat lady and we you will see this combo as standard i have no doubt the first few weeks of fnm will be plenty of this deck Sahili's so price has already spiked from her $5 low, and this is a reason why. Free in a white, uh, when it enters the battlefield, you may exile another target permanent you control, then return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. It's a 1-4. What you're going to do is, you will play it, um, then Sahili is going to create a token of it, minus 2, uh, giving her whatever loyalty, minus 2. And surviving after that so then you have another guardian which will blink Sahili Ray it will exile her and then put her back on the battlefield which means she starts with free counters again hence allowing her to negative two creating another one of these guardians until you have infinite amount of haste one fours I mean, as many as you wanted, you could have a million of them, a billion, a trillion, it doesn't really matter. It's up to you, and they all have haste. So, very strong combo. I don't know what happened here. I, perhaps they misread the card or didn't test it. It feels like a turn 4 combo. A turn 4 combo in modern is playable. It's bannable. Let me put it that way. They banned Splinter Twin. This one, yeah, you have an extra color, you have extra white, but it's a splash color, and your mana fixing is okay. Uh, you do have some lands that can produce any of this color combination. So, very strong, very, very strong combo, and for at least the first few weeks of FNM, I expect this combo to be played everywhere. Uh, it also helps that the Guardian is an uncommon, so it is very likely that you will be able to see the Guardian. Like it's not like the Guardian is a mythic that is a bazillion dollars. The Guardian itself will not limit the combo or will not limit players from the playing this deck as an uncommon. The mythic, if you got into it when I got into it at $5, you're thinking, yes, I want to play this deck. Yes, this deck is cheap and it looks fun. And it can actually win on turn 4. And each of the pieces are decent enough. Um, again, there's a, another infinite combo in the Fumero. Uh, the Fumero has an infinite combo win where you activate its ability. And then you get your infinite creature. And that's an artifact. So technically you can run various turn 4 wins. Uh, and that's going. it's going to be a fun standard. Let me tell you that. It's going to be a fun standard. I'm excited. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Are you guys going to play this combo? Do you guys think this combo will be good? I'm not saying it will be good. It could be great. Don't get me wrong. It could be great. But at least for the f first few weeks of FNM, you will see this deck running around rampant. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.